Hello guys, welcome to another episode on Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 and today we'll be doing something a little bit different. This is going to be a tutorial, however, if you have not checked my previous video on tutorial on how to do interlocking loops, go ahead and check that out um, on my channel. Uh, the link will be in the description if you want to check out that video. Now without any further ado, let's get to the video and we're going to start the tutorial. So are you tired of uh, very lame drops on log flumes? Do you, do you not like the drops that you see like this? Do you not want to see the drops like this? So if you don't want to see a drop like this, here's how to make a steep drop on a log flume. So first of all, you're going to start off with your splash boats attraction by clicking here on the on the water rides tab. So what you'll do is you'll click this. What you want to do is you want to place your station anywhere you want. So as long you can make the station as long as you want. Just make sure though it's in the water. So then after you do that, you will then make the conveyor belt lift tilt. So you can make it as tall as you want as long as you know if you want to turn on cheats now if you don't want to turn on cheats that's absolutely fine with you but I would suggest that you want to turn on the cheats and you want to press disable clearance checks if or I'm sorry uh, disable support limits if you want to make your ride even taller now I chose not to so then if you want to just give an example on a, you know making a better log flume um, if you want a very steep drop on your log flume, then you have to use the splash boat attraction, and um, yeah, and then so um, we will then um, see you guys later. All right, after you designed your log flume, so you have to use a splash boats if you want to, because otherwise, if you do a log flume and switch it back, uh, something might happen. It will basically just mess up the, um, the graphics so you won't be able to see the steep drop so first what you want to do is you want to go to your splash boats and you want to go to cheats so then you will obviously check those off which I already did in the first place so you're gonna check these two uh, show a vehicle from other track types you check that off and then you'll check off as well as disable vehicle limits so then what you're gonna do is you're going to change your splash boats to logs and then however amount you want you could select it but I think more realistically is to just to do one boat and just do like this um, so I think technically there's like five logs in total so then after that you will then test your ride and uh, I will not do a talk over just because uh, you're gonna have to see the ride so then you're just gonna go ahead and do this just to just to you know preview the ride so again I'm gonna speed things up so you guys don't get bored of it so there are the logs so uh, just as what I told you just go to the log trains change it to that for the train type or coaster type however it is and then um, yeah. so anyway that's basically it so you can design however you want of, um, about, of the log flume as long as you use the steep drop element so that usually can use that on the splash boats because usually um, when you see log flumes they have a steep drop right this one only has a very gentle drop so it's very boring and lame so kind of like splash mountain a busy mountain you can pretty much do the same thing so there you have it Show you guys a ride for a bit here, and uh, we'll be done. Ah, good airtime there. That'd be a really fun lock room. It's a very very easy trick for OpenRCT2 
So if you want to use any scenario and you decide to build a log flume with a steep drop, you can go ahead and do so. This is really fun for scenarios. So if you want to go ahead and use a log flume with a steep drop, I highly recommend you to use the Splash Boats Ride and change the train type to logs. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this is really helpful for you guys, uh, new players. Uh, and uh, it will probably make you know you a better player on Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. So maybe you can do better on Scenario the next time. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.